Hello there, Internet Dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to a Pokemon analog horror. Yes, I know. Analog horror is taking over everything. It's infesting everything. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how they do this with Pokemon. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I am an old man, okay? And I haven't touched a Pokemon game since probably Pokemon Red, Blue, Green, Sapphire. Probably Sapphire, in honesty. That was probably the last Pokemon game I played. And I'm going to be honest, I was never really a fan of Pokemon. I li liked, like, the monsters and stuff, and I played a little bit of the games. I watched the cartoon, but I never really got into it, so I never really kind of kept up to date the only nintendo games that i really enjoyed were the zelda games and uh, mario so yeah i don't have much experience with pokemon and there's going to be a lot of knowledge missing but i learned from the inside out tapes that i need to do a bit of research on the side which i didn't do for that video so this is a video that's called the ultra beast phenomenon pokemon analog horror by Fabe. this was actually recommended to me on my discord by ben drowned so thank you very much for the submission i appreciate it if you have something scary to send me join my discord down below pop it in the scare bass submission channel and if i react to it i will give you a shout out so i went ahead and googled what an ultra beast is because this is completely new to me and i think it's actually a thing that's in the newer gens it only just recently came out and so if you're unfamiliar with what a ultra beast is they are extra dimensional pokemon that come from ultra space through ultra wormholes and were first introduced during the main series of games in pokemon sun and moon for nintendo 3ds but that's automatically crazy to me because this suggests that a wormhole is connecting one point in space to another point in space so that means that these pokemon these ultra beasts are of a completely different planet section of the universe basically which means there's a whole bunch of these things throughout the universe but as we go along if there's something that i'm confused about i will google it and i'm sorry if that makes me feel like a like an old man and that upsets you but i'd rather be in the know than be ignorant you know that's that's my motto from now on. Okay, so let's just jump straight into this. Uh, Fabe, 78,000 views as of today, which is September 11th. Uh, never forget, guys. Warning, this training video contains disturbing and uncanny content. Do not watch unless you're authorized by Aether Enterprises. Some data, some data were altered to preserve privacy of the witnesses and sanity of our employees. Since the UB experiences are known to cause mild to severe cognitive impairment. Please review the following guidelines to learn how to contain and deal with those anomalies. Okay, so Aether Enterprise, that's, um, okay, I think that's, is that just a made up thing? I think that might be a made up thing. Here we go. Welcome. Hello, you're oh. officially in my Eden Foundation employee. Okay. Congratulations, hey. Grant, on Whoa. our new journey over Pokemon and human safety. Okay, well, We are firstly... pleased to announce that either Foundation expanded to either Enterprises after the acquirement of Ultra Recon Squad, which now works as a branch company for us. Okay. Please follow our guidelines. So these um, are these businesses within the Pokemon universe? How to contain the anomalies, known as Ultra Beasts. The master key of Pokemon World Development. Okay. Ultra Beasts are extra dimensional creatures first found in Alola. Alola. But now found around the world. Oh, okay, interesting. In you, as an exemplary grant, has been. Okay, well, that is Morse code in the background. Work to keep the absolute safety of our people. They are crazy, some substances, like metal. Okay, always obsessed by substances like the following. Metal. Electricity. Okay. And human flesh. Okay, well, there we go. Let's, um, let's nuke these guys and be done with it. Let's throw them in SCP, you know, in the facility over there. And just... We're done. There we go. All, all good. Do not interact by any circumstance. Okay. If a unit should get out of control, we report to Ultra Recon Squad immediately. Mm -hmm. Or using a beast ball in emergency cases. A beast ball? Is that an actual thing? You can capture the these things? The last mass invasion of the Ultra Beast happened 30 years ago, okay. known as the UB incident. The UB Watch incident. some recordings of this specific event. Oh god, it just starts showing like really graphic stuff. You must sit through this, employee. Sit through this. Codename UB01. 
Oh, here we go. A bit of live action. Another bit of live action. What is that? Is that an Ultra Beast? This doesn't look like a mass invasion. Holy shit, that's really cool. That's actually... Looks like... Uh, listen, I'm going to show my age. It looks like Psyduck. Ultra Beast... That... Never mind, it doesn't. It looks like a jellyfish. Okay, this looks like an invasion now. This looks like I'm back in Space Marine 2 right now. Those damn Tyranids. This one was UB Symbiont. It's related by many witnesses. Okay, Nihila go. A day heavy particular interest with human flesh. Okay, let me... Is she going to read this here, or...? The audio you heard, you could hear a weird voice. Yeah. What was now, that? Now, we'll play it, but... Okay, give me a sec, guys. Characteristics, special interest by consuming human flesh, absorbing body, confused with human body into another anomaly. So it... It confused with the human body and take up a completely different shape. You heard. You could hear a weird voice. Yeah. Now, we will play it, but fixing the audio... With the Hyder Enterprise computers powered by AVAP technologies. What is this a sponsorship? Just get on with it. All rights reserved. All rights reserved. Okay. No. How about that? How about you take your creepy little ass? Interact with this UB. Not touch. They did let it touch you. No survivors were found in those places, according to our parallel independent investigation. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back. Let's go back. What did that just say? Ultra beasts are demons. They're demons. These people are demons. They will consume you and never let you leave. Death cannot save you. Pray for Sarah and Bea. Death to Aether. Okay, so someone's hijacked this recording and decided just to slice this in there, like... What's his name? Tyler Dern. Der. Tyler, what's his name from Fight Club? Tyler Durden. Please do not hesitate to call Ultra Recon Squad in case of sighting. Either enterprises is most responsible by any injury, brain, brain damage. damage, flesh disorders, and disease related to you beasts. Why would it be your responsibility? We count with your braveness and humble heart, just like every single Hydra going to have, to follow our guidelines. That sounded really suspicious the way she said that. Though she said, hang on a sec. We count with your... We count your braveness and humble heart. And humble heart. Just like... Just like every single Aether Grunt has. As if to say, yeah, we definitely have those. We have a heart. We're humans, by the way. We're humans. You don't need to look into that. Every single Hydra Grunt you have. To follow our guidelines. Okay. I don't think you're Keep humans. Keep your blanks mighty face. With the presence of citizens. Okay. Remember, you're the face of the Hydra Foundation. You are the face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We are glad to announce that the revolution and expansion of Hyder Paradise will finally happen. Okay, so you just gave us the most weirdest news ever, and now you're telling us about a holiday destination. This is the news in a nutshell. Real life news does this, by the way. And reels and Instagram. I know I'm going on a rant here, guys, but you know what? You're going to listen to this because you're scrolling through Instagram, right? And then never in my life have I gone through so many emotions in my life as I have scrolling through social media. I'll, find, I'll look at a picture of a cat having a great day, a video of a cat, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I'll scroll, and then there's a person like... Uh, doing something really cool for humanity and i start crying i'm like oh that's cool then i go there's a guy just farting on the camera i'm like oh holy shit and the news is exactly the same they'll tell you that like 15 people have been murdered to death and then it will just be like but now here's roy the dog it's like sorry what hang on yeah, we what do you want me to feel right now you to collect data from the new ubis found this week by mysterious old recordings okay all data should be sent to Gateway Sector, uh -huh. headed by Colores. Colores. And could not be shared in any circumstances to other employees or citizens. Okay. In a couple days, the boss will announce the successor of Hyder Paradise Project. That looks like, um, have any of you guys seen The Dark Knight Rises when he keeps the reactor core underneath the city? Kind of looks like that, that room. It was named firmly as Whistling Project. Mm -hmm. An in joke between our company culture. Oh, that's cool. Case number one. 
U B sound was named as U B spread. In spread. In recording and it. What was it doing? By in most person. It keeps immobile by the most of time. This is it. Rank two security level. Okay. Contact Ultra Recon Squad immediately. Okay. Are they in the freaking back, back rooms here? Oh god, what happened to the skate? That skateboard was going somewhere. Whoa. Okay, that's an Ultra Beast, is it? Holy shit. Codename UB spread, species name Malathorn, type grass tag. Characteristics introspective behavior. Nope. Try to move only when it's not being watched. The purple part is the actual body. Wait, what? Try to move only when it's not being watched. So you don't look at it? The purple part is the actual body while the vines can stretch and cover its real mouth. Oh, got you. Okay, so the purple bit's underneath. Okay. No parts was found in the location. Right, that's brilliant, that's good news. Why am I so slouched? My god. However, the UB was scout, we could see with more details the anomaly. To make it open the vines in the torso and show its hidden mouth. Okay. Interact with it using a Frodoisiac pole. Right. Then, wait until the torso is open. Mm-hmm. Call Ultra Recon Squad immediately. Okay, there's a there's a dead person there. It's like, listen, I don't mean to compare things to FNAF, but it's like being stuffed inside an animatronic suit, basically. Is number two. New UB found, mm -hmm. by the code name UB Walker. Walker? What in, that in a freaking... What are they, what's that in Walking Dead? Corrupted file found in the 90s. Is your... What do you notice that, guys? I'm sorry to go on a tangent, but they never call them zombies. Do you notice? There's always, like... There, look, there's a couple of brainers over there. It's a couple of Zs over there. Well, not Zs, I don't know what, what they're called. B is officially nothing. Runners, walkers. However, a corpse was found in the forest where this video was recorded. A corpse had a hope in the neck, and Jeez. the bottom half was missing. Good lord. Don't be afraid to use our beast bow and try not to hear too much the noises this UB does. Try not to hear what the noises that the UB does. I found required to proceed. Oh, that sounds like some big footsteps. Reminds me of the Iron Giant. You guys watch that? Great film. And he's like in the those those woods. Or the forest or whatever it is. Okay, well, I'm not going to comment on that. So, why aren't they turning around? Are you not meant to look? That sounds big, whatever it is. Build the Okay, why are they still here? What are they doing here this late? A little bit of smoke. What was that? Oh dear. What was that? Ultra Beast Data. Walker. Species name Vintrap. Water ground. Characteristic stalker behavior makes uncanny sounds through special glands in its long neck. It drowns itself to make waves and apparently it doesn't need to breathe, but still makes breathing sounds for some reason. <laughs> this was written by a professional right here. Is number three. New UB found. Possibly the most important for the Either Paradise project, yeah, according important. to the boss. Okay. UB well, could name it as Copycat, was found in a neighborhood west from the city. Okay. Rank 5 security level. Do Rank 5? Do not interact with this UB. Instead, use earpods on your ears or rip your ears apart. Okay, so one, have earpods on you and put them in. 
or two, rip your ears apart. Now, ripping the ear off itself isn't going to prov like stop sound from going in. You're going to have to stab something into your ears to burst the, the eardrum and just completely render it useless, the, which is a, a horrible thought. Incal, order Requiem Squad immediately. It won't work. Oh, it's working. Hello, Charlie. This is my house. And this is my family. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so what, the commentator for the whole thing, this this happened to her, did it? Uh-oh. My panda's next fell off. Okay. Doobie-doobie-doo. Hello, mommy. Careful with Benny's camera, okay? Okay, okay, don't worry. I mean, camera now. It's a video for Charlie. Let's go to my room. Oh, this bubble splashy it's not my name. Me full grown girl now. Brilliant. Well, I don't go. play with those anymore. I have much more cool things over there. Oh, look, Charlie. These are my hair buffs. She, she went missing. Last time seen her parents' house. Last clothes wear Hello Kitty dress sandals. So, sorry, Charlie. Mommy, call me if you have dinner. This is my carpet. We need a pool carpet. Is me yeah. cute? So this all exists in the Pokemon universe. This is good to know. Cute. Be so soft, you must see. And this butterfly can move. Flying and flying if you shake it. It's a super cool carpet. Oh, this is Daddy's office room. One thing I will say is obviously this is the same person doing the thing. They they can't afford or, or you know, they can't they it's always good to have different actors playing different roles because it can, makes it a little bit more immersive. When you use the same voice for like one thing and for another thing that are meant to be two separate things, it can break immersion. And what, what's happening here, and this is only like criticism for like getting better. I mean, from my perspective, you know, you don't have to take this in or whatever, but this is friendly advice. You know, if, if you you welcome it. The talking, you don't need to do too much. I mean, I understand it's meant to be a little girl, right? And she's probably excited and stuff. But I guess it would work if it was a different voice. Because we know this is the same voice as the person who's doing like the commentary, like the narration for the facility or whatever. So it completely throws you off. If it was a different voice, it might work a little bit better. And maybe even though if this was actually filmed by you, that's when you can use the voice actually inside. Because right now we can kind of tell that it's a voice over the camera rather than just the, the the voice being in the environment that the camera's in yeah that that's my only advice right now is like you know i understand if you don't have actors or you can't afford actors or whatever but this probably could have been done in a different way like you probably didn't even need to use voices in honesty for this part i'm gonna stop talking i'm, I'm not trying to make it not trying to like attack the work because i think it's it's good and it has definitely it has um Potential right with the world that's around it. It's a very, very adult office, Charlie. Look how is that? Why is that? Is that a jigsaw? It is. On the... Even the window looks. I don't know, Mummy. What was that? Those tonight. I bet you. Was that? Is that? Was that like a little stalker there? I... Why is that? Oh, is that the thing there? Oh, it is. Look. I don't know, mommy will take those tonight. I bet you're curious about that machine. And let me open this thing to show you. H hold on, hold on. Charlie, it's tonight. And I found something in the office. I what? heard something. Oh, it's tonight as in it's later on, okay. Wow. 
What the hell just happened there? That was like a freaking smiling friends jump scare right there. <laughs> <laughs> good God. That's not good. Ultra Beast Data. Copycat. Mimic Crow. Flying Psychic. Characteristics can mimic human voice almost perfectly. The only Ultra Beast found that had that have self-awareness and incomprehensible goals. The feathers look like tentacles warped around its body that emanates a psychic smog. This cold smog can affect human senses and somehow invade digital devices. Oh, okay. Brilliant. So now it's inside the device that you're showing this on. Congratulations, you are now able to exercise your either enterprise's official grunt. I'm going to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing as a grunt. I'll be honest, these these, these citizens are going to die. They're going to end up dead because I didn't really learn anything Easy. there. I wasn't paying attention, I'm going to be Huge honest. Huge responsibility in your hands. Okay. Don't keep you aware. Complete the training program totally in Bluetooth next week. Aether Enterprises and a VIP Technologies Corporation is not responsible by any disappearance, injury, lethal brain damage, nausea, nausea, ear bleeding, and occasional disease. Decease. Is there occasional decease, or is that meant to be disease, caused by this training tape? Occasional decease. That's crazy. Don't forget to open the window of your dormitory tonight. Why? Either enterprises come with your strength to bring the world and you right. Right. It sounds like Orders we're in a cult. From the bus. Best regards. I feel Either like I feel like the that this has been infiltrated and that's the mimic saying that so that they can get in and just um enterprise. kill the people. Interesting. Here's the thing, guys. I think that has a lot of potential in terms of like an analog horror, genuinely. Like the whole concept of these worldly Pokemons, these other, like literally from another, maybe even dimension, well, through a wormhole, obviously, like I said, it's connecting one part of space to another. Like the thought of that coming through and into the world, that could like be, that's such a good concept for an analog horror for sure. And I think they've, they've touched on it nicely here. I think there's something more that can be done. I don't know what it is, but there's something there that can be done. I feel like maybe if the, and this is an attack once again, but if the voice acting was there or like definitely voice actors, different voice actors could have helped there for sure. Sometimes you don't even need voice actors to, you know, show what you want to show. But listen, I, I don't want to feel like I'm coming across as attacking. It's never an attack because the, if you're going out your way to create something, then I have nothing but respect for that because you're, you know, you're trying something out. You're doing something creative and i can never knock that because this definitely has an interesting premise for it so Feibe, i hope you continue with the series but yeah guys go check out Feibe for yourself go check uh, apparently there's like a hidden video here somewhere as well uh, you can see here in the thing that's part of a url i think here yeah go check it out for yourself go show them some love go like the video go subscribe all that good stuff if you enjoyed my reaction why not leave a like rating subscribe Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys.